What's going on there, folks? Good evening, afternoon to some out there. It is the Earth Master here on this beautiful Saturday. It is March 19th, 2022. It is about 5.06 uh, Mountain Time PM here in New Mexico. That's where I'm at currently. Uh, I'm in route to Texas uh, for Monday and Tuesday severe weather events. So just uh, if you're wondering what's going on, well, that is what's going on there. Uh, the updates will be provided in a separate video compared to uh, upload video along with the live stream. So live stream is still running. The Earthquake Live 3D uh, program is still running perfectly. But updates are going to be separate now. Let's go ahead and check out the earthquake activity around the globe or on this map, I should say. We've seen quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up here throughout the day today. Um, hopefully my connection out here in New Mexico will be sufficient. I'm kind of running off of my uh, 5G on my cell phone, uh, which seems to be fine right now. So look at the activity ramping up down here all over the Pacific plate and also South America, basically globally uh, a major uptick uh, kicking off right now. And specifically right around the Pacific plate. Uh, we did have a 6.3 earthquake just a very short time ago uh, at 21 kilometers just south of Tonga into the Tonga Trench. A uh, very shallow earthquake but a pretty large one at that. Uh, prior to that we have seen quite a few fours and some fives just south of there. Very shallow movement. Uh, this area has been relatively quiet uh, compared to the well the 7.3 up in Japan and the uh, the pair of sixes that we had last week around the Philippines and the Java Trench. So now we're starting to see a little little bit of adjustment down here uh, along the Tonga and the Kermadec Trench area. Uh, in that uh, aspect, we need to watch this area further south here uh, with this large scale movement taking place up around the Tonga region. Uh, a lot of activity throughout the Indonesia area, Solomon Islands, Papua New Guinea, all getting in on quite a bit of movement uh, today. Uh, looking at the magnitudes here, quite a few fours and some fives uh, throughout the region here, also up into the uh, northwestern part of the uh, Philippine plate up here, seeing a couple earthquakes as well in the upper four range. And look at this activity up here along the uh, the uh, Japan Trench and the Kuro Kamachaka Trench up here all seen activity ramp up uh, within the last 24 hours a couple fours uh, kicking off there in this region uh, mid fours uh, within this area this area is still uh, uh, still under the gun I believe we did have that 7.3 down here on the Japan Trench uh, with subsequent movement up here uh, since then up in the Kuro Kamchaka Trench, so we got to watch this area up here pretty closely We've seen some large-scale movement down here. The adjustment should be made pretty soon within the northwestern part here of the Pacific Plate uh, Lucian Trench uh, Looks pretty quiet at least along the Aleutian Islands here inland into Alaska uh, Got about 32 earthquakes or so nothing major going on West Coast is uh, ramping up like crazy uh, we'll go ahead and jump right into it here up and down the northern California coastline all the way down to southern California things are really kicking up here we did have a uh, three point uh, I think we had a 3.9 let's see if they've upgraded or downgraded this earthquake here 3.6 so it did get downgrade uh, a little bit it is an earthquake right smack dab on the San Andreas fault zone there you can see the plate boundary uh, prior to that, we're seeing a swarm of movement uh, uh, through this region further south uh, along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. So uh, activity definitely ramping up here in this area of California. Into the northern part here, a little bit of activity north. Well, we got all this movement, of course, here south of Clear Lake into the uh, Cobb Mountain region. That's very typical. Uh, due to the hydrothermal operations there, but some activity well north of here, just outside of Willits, seeing a couple small microquakes, uh, 2.4 and a 2.3 today, uh, and also 1.8, uh, about five to six kilometers for that uh, earthquake activity. Uh, hopefully this microphone sounds good. I was gonna bring my, uh, my desktop mic and uh, the one that I use for the Earthquake Live 3D stream, and I forgot it. Seems like whenever I go on a trip, I always forget 
something, right? It never fails. Uh, some activity really ramping up here in the uh, Antelope Valley area as well. Last night, seen uh, uh, quite a few twos kick off there. A little swarm of activity. Uh, looking at uh, about nine earthquakes or so within the Antelope Valley area just to the west. Uh, further down south into the Ridgecrest area. Um, well, can't forget the Long Valley Super Volcano, right? Quite a bit of activity outside of there as well. Uh, the Ridgecrest region, seeing some movement all across the northern end here. We've got the Garlock Fault structure here. Uh, just went through here last night up over the uh, Tehachapi Pass. And uh, uh, it's pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, um, Ridgecrest area seeing a little swarm of movement and also some activity here just north of the Garlock Fault Zone around the Tehachapi area. Uh, some earthquake activity definitely kicking up here uh, in the Southern California region. Uh, looking at uh, the San Jacinto Fault Zone and the Salton Sea area, a little bit of swarming just here at the very end of the San Andreas Fault. Got. Uh, couple small microquakes here we haven't seen a whole lot of movement here within this region of the Salton Sea area and it sits just about a mile or two to the southwest of the San Andreas Fault the southern end uh, where the sleeping giant is currently sleeping and hopefully uh, will remain that way uh, we don't want to wake up the southern section of San Andreas Fault because we're talking about an 8.1 magnitude earthquake uh, shaking things up if that thing were to unleash all the hundreds of years of activity and built up accumulated stress that it's been uh, that that has been accumulating Kansas Oklahoma Texas uh, I'm thinking about checking out uh, before I, I got a little bit of time tomorrow so I think I'm thinking about going down here to the Pecos Texas area uh, before I head out to Central Texas for uh, the uh, Monday storm chase and see what I can see out here around the swarming area this area is always under the gun in earthquake activity they get fours they get threes and they get some pretty good swarms out there and uh, kind of want to see what's what's out there far as any uh, um, any unusual activity as far as like uh, well perhaps uh, injection well uh, water operations well operations oil operations out there i'm sure they're out there but i do want to go out there and see what's going on so uh, stay tuned for that uh, some activity throughout the midland and odessa area up through oklahoma and some kansas activity kicking up today just outside of wichita seeing a 3.0 and a couple other twos out there in the beautiful state of kansas uh, the rest of the country looking at the usgs map here it looks pretty quiet not a whole lot going on Another area that was showing some uptick today around the Puerto Rico area, just on the southwest side, seeing uh, quite a bit of swarming activity and also one uh, kind of well off towards the northern section here, Puerto Rico 3.0 striking uh, earlier today as well. Uh, South America, Colombia, seeing some movement 4.5. Uh, let's look at the South America region here, seeing a swarm of movement up and down this uh, Peru Chile trench here. And also over here along the Chile Rise, quite a few fours kicking off there and somewhat deep as well. Almost 200 kilometers uh, below the surface for that earthquake activity. Uh, let's see what have we got here in the rest of the world. It's pretty active, folks. There's a lot. I, I don't want to keep this video too long. I kind of want to keep it about 10 minutes, no more than that. And uh, we're at nine right now. So um, I got to keep it limited just because of my... Uh, data access out here. I don't want it to take three hours to uh, upload a 10 minute video. A lot of activity uh, globally, so to speak, folks. So, a whole lot going on. A lot of westward push. Once again, we're getting in on pairs of earthquakes out here around the Java Trench, uh, outside of Papua New Guinea, and up here along the western portion of the Philippine Plate. Quite a bit of activity kicking off for sure. Uh, Yellowstone, let's go ahead and check out the latest map here on the Yellowstone overview and uh, some activity it looks like they lost data once again around the Yellowstone region around borehole where we've been seeing the swarm of activity surprisingly uh, still seeing some activity uh, with that loss of data being reported uh, I want to check out the trimmer map here tonight I uh, didn't get a chance to check it last night because I was traveling in the mix of uh, driving and whatnot 
Uh, let's see if we can get this thing to go. There we go. Looks like, uh, I believe this is from yesterday. Yes, 318. Looks like about 39 epicenters of trimmer into mainly uh, the Washington area and a little bit down here in Northern California. Uh, let's see what else we got, folks. Uh, some activity in Hawaii to cover real quick as well. Uh, zoom in if I can. I'm on a different laptop and I didn't bring my mouse either, so I'm doing it the old fashioned way uh, with my fingers across the keyboard. Uh, some activity well off the west coast near Captain Cook, Hawaii at 3.1. A magnitude earthquake also up here north, uh, 2.5 kicking off. So a little broader earthquake activity um, today in Hawaii than uh, what we normally see. Uh, southeast flank looking pretty active here with all this earthquake activity, but uh, definitely uh, overall some major plate adjustment here with the ongoing movement of the uh, Pacific plate in general. I mean, just check out that activity over the last 24 hours. That's very active right now. So uh, be on guard. Um, I will be uh, I will be doing further updates. I'm going to try to keep at least one update um, a day unless something major happens. Uh, so I will, um, in that case, I'll do two or three or how many ever it takes to uh, uh, get the videos out. But uh, for now, hope everyone has a good night, um, and I will be back tomorrow. Storm chasing does not begin until uh, Monday, uh, Monday morning, Monday afternoon there in central uh, central Texas area, east central Texas around uh, probably Dallas-Fort Worth, southward towards Tyler. It's going to be a prime spot for uh, potential severe weather. So, all right, guys, we'll chat you a little bit later. Have a good night, and uh, stay safe out there.